Our Holy Father Sissos the Great of Egypt, 429. One of the greatest of the Desert Fathers, he lived in asceticism at Cetus in Egypt. After the death of Saint Anthony the Great, Abba Sissos became a hermit in Anthony's cave, saying, Thus in the cave of a lion, a fox makes his dwelling. In his own lifetime he was granted the grace to heal the sick, drive out unclean spirits, and even raise the dead. As his death approached after a long life in the desert, his brethren gathered around him. His face began to shine, and he said, See, Abba Anthony is here, then, see, the choir of the prophets is here. Seeing that he seemed to be speaking with someone, his brethren asked him who it was. He replied, The angels are here, and I am asking them for time to repent. Amazed, they asked him what he could have to repent of, to which he replied, Brethren, I do not know if I have even begun to repent. Finally, his face became as bright as the sun, and he said, See, the Lord is here, and he says, Bring me the vessel of the desert. With this, he gave his soul up to God, and his entire dwelling was filled with light and sweet fragrance. Some of his teaching, as told in the prologue, Saint Sissos taught his monks, When temptation comes to a man, that man must give himself over to the will of God, and acknowledge that the temptation comes upon him because of his sins. If something good comes to pass, he must acknowledge that it comes about by the providence of God. A monk asked him, How can I please God and be saved? The saint replied, If you desire to please God, withdraw from the world, separate yourself from the earth, leave aside creation and draw near to the Creator, unite yourself to God with prayers and tears, and you will find rest in this world and in the next. A monk asked Sissos, How can I acquire humility? The saint replied, When a man learns to regard every man as better than himself, he thus acquires humility. Ammon complained to Sissos that he could not memorize the wise sayings that he had read, to be able to quote them in conversation with others. The saint replied, It is not necessary. That which is necessary is to acquire purity of mind and to speak from this purity, placing one's hope in God.